Hey, we're in the kitchen now with Chef Todd from Syrah, a wonderful restaurant in the Green Bay area where they do a lot of things seasonally. They're changing up their menu all the time. Uh, homemade dressings, homemade sauces, just all sorts of different fun flavors. Definitely. We uh, try to play with the seasons. Uh, like you said, we're a ton of flavors. Just trying to work in whatever's seasonal at the time and uh, try to stay as fresh as possible. So barbecue sauce, we're making a homemade barbecue sauce. I'm, I always try and get people to make homemade salad dressings and, and sauces with stuff they already have in, in their pantry. And this is one of those, lots of flavor, but you probably don't even have to run out to the grocery store and get much. Probably not. Most of the stuff's in your pantry and really barbecue sauce is quick and easy. A lot of them are, we're cooking ours, a lot of them are even no cook. Which is really great. This is fun though, because we're starting out with a root beer. This is just what, a can of root beer? Yep, we uh, use the Baumeister at the restaurant. Ooh, good stuff. So a good bottle of that. Okay, so a bottle of root beer into just a saucepan. And this is the, the one, uh, besides the root beer, this is the other ingredient that you're going to have to run out and find. Tell us about this. This is a hard apple cider. Okay. Um, really crisp, refreshing. Um, adds a little bit of effervescence to the, to the sauce, too. So I know, you know, a lot of barbecue sauces have that hint of apple. So this is kind of the, something different. Does, yep. Can you open that of for course. me? All right. Is this something you also serve at the restaurant? It is. All right. Very. It's a chef's choice. Oh, does that smell good? <laughs> really, really good. Okay, so a bottle of uh, root beer and a bottle of this hard apple cider, and we let that those two cook down for about how long, Todd? You're going about a half an hour on that. You're reducing that down by uh, probably about eight times. Okay. All right. So simmer it. Keep an eye on it. Yep. You don't want it too high and not too exactly. low, though. Kind of. And this is basically. Uh, what it's going to boil down to. So you can see just that we had all that liquid and it really boils down to what, about a half a cup exactly, or something? Yeah. So just gets real syrupy and concentrated. Okay, so now you open your pantry and start pulling stuff out to put it all together, right? Yep, you just summed up, summed up how I cook. Okay, <laughs> me too, me too. So ketchup? So yep, we're doing some ketchup. About how much? Uh, pretty much all across the board, we're going to do about half a cup. Okay, about half a cup. Of, yep. You know, you don't need to measure, just kind of you're going to feel Throw it. Chances are, as you get to the end, you're going to taste it, adjust a few things. Sure, sure. All right, what, what next? And what we're going to do next is the mustard. mustard. About a quarter of a cup of that. Okay, just regular old, the stuff we put on hot dogs. Whoops. Or if you had Dijon, that would Dijon's work too. Dijon's a nice touch. Okay. I like okay. the, using the whole seed once in a okay. while. Okay, so mustard, ketchup. Okay, what, what next? Uh, a couple of tablespoons each of soy and Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Got both of those in my fridge or pantry. Everybody's so. got it, but nobody yeah. can say it. <laughs> Worcestershire, 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 or smell it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce. And we got a little rice wine vinegar, about a tablespoon of that too. Okay, and um, this is something I have in my pantry because I use it to make salad dressings. Just a real mild, uh, you know, uh, vinegar that just really works in it's so many different very things. Very mild, just adds yeah. a little bit of acid. It affects a different part of the tongue, so you pick up some more flavors just yeah. because that's in there. Yeah, um, I always say for people who want to start getting in the salad dressing business, to, um, you know. Pick up a few different vinegars, and this is one I suggest. Uh, a few different oils, and you're in, in your Red business. Red wine vinegar yeah. would be basic. Yeah, too. yeah, exactly. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of chili powder. Okay. And a couple dashes of that. Okay. And then we have my Moroccan spice blend. This is a kind of cinnamon, um, paprika, mm. a little bit of pepper, and some mm. saffron. Yum. But it's gonna add the sweet, kind of a, su a sweeter element, so the chili is gonna help bring the heat up to. All of that? Do you want all of that in there or just uh, a little yep, bit? Yep, we can go the whole thing. Okay, and this is another thing you do with the restaurant. You make a lot of different spice blends. Yep. And that's your salt and, and pepper Just a little blend. salt and pepper blend in there. Okay. And, and we're let that Mix that down. up a little bit, reduce it down. With this vinegar, uh, you have different types of barbecue sauce out there. And with something like this, it's a little more runny. Mm -hmm. um, you're really looking for more of a glaze as you grill. Okay. You know, we do this on a short rib at the restaurant. Yum. The short rib is braised first, finished on the grill, and when it goes on the grill, it just gets a couple hits of this barbecue sauce. Yum. And you get a nice shine and then a little bit of caramelization from the sugars. I can smell that little bit of cinnamon in there. That's kind of a fun one. And if you don't want to make, you know, they have all these different seasoning blends now at the grocery store, you exactly. know. Exactly. So try some of those out. And some of your local spice companies too yeah, are really exactly. nice to check for that. All right, so here we go. And again, this isn't going to be real thick and ketchupy like your, you know, store bought barbecue sauce, but. It's going to have so much flavor. How's exactly. that look? Oh. Very good. It's still coat the meat. Oh. That's all we're looking for. So a little bit of that just drizzled on top of yep. these. These are your braised short ribs. Are those beef or pork? Those are pork. Ooh. And that's braised with a little apple, a little veal stock. Oh, serve with a uh, grilled vegetable salad with a grape Vin vanilla vinaigrette. Yep. Oh, that looks fantastic. Perfect, nice, light summer meal. Thanks so much, Todd. Thank Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much.
Think about making your uh, homemade barbecue sauce. Next time you open the fridge and you're out of barbecue sauce, don't panic. Got ketchup, mustard, soy sauce, Worcestershire, you're, you're in business. So. Exactly. Easy one to solve. Exactly.